Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. I hope you guys have a good Christmas with your family and friends and if you are still having Christmas now, remember to watch this video, support, give it some like, remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and upload and have fun. So today I'm going through some King of Game highlight. I have attained King of Game during the two day break that I announced in my Facebook and going through on the updates that was on during the Christmas. So let's take a look at the upcoming updates. So early January, there's a new character coming to Dueling, which is in the GX world, the Zen. So another early January, there's a global launch one year anniversary celebration. So there'll be a lot of giveaway like tickets, jams, cut sleeve, get game map, and etc, etc. And you'll be getting an incredible card as well. Do leave a comments down below on what kind of cards do you want Konami to give us. Do drop a like if you want to see more uh, good Konami giveaway. And mid January, there's an event, Dual Tone, which is what we're having now, like the Bonds event. And uh, mid January, a new exclusive LD is coming to the gate. So if you guys did not farm enough Yugi Moto, this is the time for you to farm him. So late January, there's a tech duo tournament <coughs> that is coming. So basically, uh, this is what I think most of the player is looking forward to. But it's not a uh, tag team with your friends or you know a stranger. I believe is that we can choose from Yami Yugi, Joey, or Kaiba to be our duo partner. I'm not sure how is it gonna be like, but I'm really looking forward to it. And early February, that's a certain character that is stronger than ever. So we are able to do a him. I think it's a roaming event. No more Ojamas, that's the crew. Do leave a comments down below on who is this character gonna be. And next in the early February as well, there's uh, another KC Cup. So there'll be more jams and your chance to get to the Konami tournament. So do put some effort in it. For my bonds, I have leveled up to level 37. So basically, I have unlocked pretty much of a lot of Ghost Trick, and I have the Zombie War as well. Do check at the end of the video. I will leave a box for a deck that I use for Zombie War, and I will be coming up uh, some Ghost Trick video coming up later today. So let's go on to the deck that I achieved King of Games with. So as you can see, I'm king of games, finally. And this is the win that I got for my ranking. I did not lose in my, my route to king of games. So let's move on to the deck list. So basically I'm using Cyber Angel. I know a lot of people will be like saying, what, why, why do you use Cyber Angel, such a dirty deck, but honestly, I think this will be the last time Cyber Angel is gonna matter in the meta because of the nerf coming up with uh, my scan. As if you don't remember what is the update, do check out the video on the bottom right at the end of the video. So nerf for my scan, nerf for Cyber Angel Dikini, and some limitation. So basically, Cyber Angel will that be still in top one? tier 1 deck, uh, honestly I don't see that coming. So let's go through my deck list. I have side 3 Cyber Angel Dikini as the normal build, uh, 1 Cyber Angel Ida 10, 3 Ben 10, 2 Senju, 2 Sonic Bird, and I have 2 Feng Huan because I, I think this is pretty vital because once I tribute summon Feng Huan, it can destroy all face down cards because I usually have issue against burn deck and gladiator beast because of so much protection they offer. Feng Kwan is there to destroy them and you know get an easy breakaway to cyber BAT Angel, 3 Machine Angel Absolute Reacher, 1 Machine Angel Reacher, and 1 Spirit Blessing, which allows you to uh, Reacher summon any like Reacher monster. So I, I'm not running any enemy controller or anti-magic anti arrow uh, compared to my previous deck. I believe this is a bit better, but it, it really much depends. I break at times as well. So I have 5 monsters in my extra deck just to confuse opponent because sometimes people will think that I'm using Gladiator Beast. 
so you know it, it may affect so sometimes psychology comes apart so without further ado let's go through the highlight i hope you guys attain king of the game as well if not just go for the push that's gems and don't give up in this game patient is everything sometimes so this is my last game in the king of game crown against uh my Velatum Aroma Hazy, which I'm kind of afraid I'm going going first, which is not good for a boy here. I was panicking because I know the Kini is kind of weak against Hazy at times. So I start off with a very bad hand. I break without any Reacher spell, but I'm trying to stay calm. I source up it, uh, either 10 first to see how I go. And he plays one Frame Tiger and the big cattle drive, two set, three set, so much of back row, beast rising, wall of disruption, enemy controller, I was like, oh my god, oh my days, man, come on, I I lost this monster, and I used Sonic Bird, and I'm trying to be calm as well, <laughs> calm is, is the key to king of game, so I use machine angel reacher to get up into 10, ben 10 combo first, I leave it set, in face down because I'm not gonna attack him this time. I'm just trying to stall and see if he make a mistake. And I have Feng Huang here, so I'm trying to use Feng Huang to destroy him in the next turn. Being patient. So Hazy Frame comes to play, and he use Centaur to attack me. I use my Machine Angel Reacher to block this attack. I need this card. I really need some card to tribute summon Feng Huang in the next turn. So for for people who copy my deck, remember that. Always try to sacrifice something. And his mistake is he did not finish off my either 10. He gave me some more damage, which is a mistake. So now I tribute mon tribute summon and I destroy all the back row. He tribute take, beast rising, a lot of combos going on. But at least I destroyed his mirror wall, which is good for a ball here. And now I machine angel reacher, my Dikini which is the turning point without any back row without enemy controller without warp disruption i can break hazy frame easily i mean up another dikini in case any funky thing going on and now i get back either 10 now i have bot control enemy controller will screw me but I, I was quite calm and this is the game that i know is gg i'm not trying to be playing a fool i'm just playing calm here and i just to be safe I'm not sure whether is there a Kuribo there, I just try to go for it. Cyber Angel in the 10, no bola, and that's there I go, King of Game. This is the King of Game final game. So remember guys, stay calm. I, I wasn't very calm. If you watch my live stream, you, you know that sometimes I break, sometimes I'm impatient, I too over aggressive. So remember to so have a calm line set. I hope you guys like this video. To drop a like subscribe for more and follow me on my facebook so this is also the road of king of games against yogi moto which i believe this will you will see feng huang even better on on this replay i'm not too sure i have saved one replay that i mess just just kill him off so he gave me open fear i'm kind of worried that it's a cyber angel mirror match so I'm trying to get more monster to the board to have some presence. So I get Machine Angel Reacher out, trying to give more attack. And either 10, Ben 10 combo. Get out the Kini. Oh, sorry. It, it will be in the next replay that Feng Huang. This is uh, just some powerful play that you can see from the Kini. This will be the last time for this this month, at least for this year. The kini will be meta. So easy peasy, cheesy, hazy, juicy play. Easy OTK there in turn two. So yeah, this this is the replay that Feng Huang really come up top notch. So that's the reason why I have Feng Huang in the mirror mesh in. The King of Game promotion, you saw how effective it is, and in this video, definitely, Feng Huang just 
destroy that person. So do a standby. I know that it's gonna be a meal deck. So cup of ace, give him more cards. Not nice for a boy. Cup of ace again. Give her more cards. I was like, oh my goodness. So three set, two draining shield, two draining shield, and one of wall disruption and a one one. So I use Cy uh, Cyber Fiaty Angel, get out the Kini. I'm trying to play it slow here. And use Spirit Racing to get out the Kini. Just to remove Womb Womb away. And I end my turn because I don't want to attack. I want Feng Huang to destroy the face down spell trap card. So next, I use Sonic Bird to get out. Because the reason why you don't want to attack is because. This monster, when it's free, it will con take control of one of my monsters. So I prefer to take it slowly first. And I machine Angel Reacher, get the Kini, remove this guy, just get him out of my of my face, and no attack again. I'm I'm staying patient, being calm. That's how you're gonna play against Mirror deck or something. So now Feng Huang comes, destroy off face down spell, uh, set spell and trap card. And Dikini doing the damage. Feng Huang come back. Dikini come back. Get me another Dikini. He left with three cards. Already eight cards on the field. So he come off ace again. Give some of the love to your boy. And with Storm, Feng Huang again. No face down for you, boy. Not a single one. And Dikini will be summoned here just to go for the easy empty board so as you can see from this replay how Feng Huang can overturn the bot control from your opponent to you so I hope that this deck allows you to climb up further in the uh, ladder so the last two highlight I, I won't be talking much about the gameplay because it's pretty standard I think you guys have been messing around or dealing with um, Cyber Angel deck for a long time, so this is just something new in the meta. I would say with Feng Feng, I I always prefer my scan rather than we start a balance because I want to gauge what am I dealing with. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do drop a like, leave your comments down below for any other video you like me to show, and remember to follow me on my Facebook. So this 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 highlight basically I just want to show you how important is machine angel reacher is in your graveyard. Something that a lot of cyber angel players uh did not control it too well. They always like to take back machine angel reacher from the graveyard to your hand. It's very much situation uh, to to be honest. I'm trying to use one monster to attack a wall of disruption that's usually what I'm always trying to achieve not having full monster and get your monster all low health point so that's what you need to learn I mean learn from the thing that I did well and learn from the thing that I fuck up with so now he he thought that he can destroy me with six samurai effect but my machine injured my Machine Angel Reacher card just comes to crush. Stay tuned for um, more videos later. I will be posting most likely uh, two Bonds deck, Ghost Trick, and one Secret deck. I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned, stay subscribed. That's how you know. Leave your bells on so you will be able to see when my videos is uploaded. So, this is a mirror matchup. I believe a balanced cyber angel and a mind scan cyber angel. Oh no, it's a galleator base, sorry. So let's see how I do against enemy controller and impenetrable attack. I do not want to crop up my uh field because of Galliator Beast effect. So he used Mamilo to destroy my Senju, which I take it, I don't mind. So now he has two monsters on the board and one enemy controller and he's just trying to, you know, OTK a board. But let's see how I can recover from this. 
So now I use Sonic Bird to get out some Reacher card. Mas Machine Angel Reacher just to protect your boy from one effect. So Cyber Angel Bikini, I did not activate its effect. I just attack because I don't want to econ take. Turn out face down, I get back either 10. And here he thought he had game. He attacked me once, which is his mistake. But he can't attack me for multiple times because my attack is very high. He changed to Mamilo, but my Machine Angel Reacher card come crash. This is when uh, I'm, I realized that I, I, take a, I take a gamble, honestly, because it's always activatable. So I believe it's a mirror wall rather or enemy controller, I just go for it. I don't give a damn about it. So sometimes it's important to see if opponent set spell a trap can be activated during the gameplay. It may be mirror wall most of the time or just enemy controller. So I activate my effect this time round from my gamble and I use either 10 to buff up my attack even more. And mirror wall goes for it. That's it. Pretty much. That's game over for him. My gamble pays. I have very healthy monster on board. He totally give up. He just use he just trying his best here, but there's no way for him to come back. I'm not trolling him, I just go for the easy knockout punch. So that will be all for today highlight. I hope you guys enjoy. Do drop a like and leave a comments down below for any other decks that you like to see. And remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more. Have a good day, good afternoon, good night and Merry Christmas to you and hope that next year you will be happy, healthy and may your wish come true. Signing off and peace.